Lee, welcome back to Sweden. Thank you. In 1996, you took your first victory in the European Tour here in Sweden at yeah. Forsgården. Yeah. What's your memories from that tournament? Well, it was a long time ago now, um, but I remember making a nice long putt in the playoff to win. Um, and then I won again in 2000. Yeah. Uh, so it's been a good tournament to me. I finished second at, at Barca back a, uh, a couple in of years later as well, was it? I think it was two 2003. 2001, 2001, wasn't it? was it? Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I've always played fairly well at this tournament and uh, it's nice to be back. That may be the last time I played. That might be the last time I played in the Scandinavian. I think you missed the cut. Did I? Some years later. I don't remember when exactly. Oh, right. I, did, I don't remember being back for 10 years or so. Something like that. So, uh, How ca uh, do you, do you sen see any reason why you play good in Sweden? No, not really. Um, I suppose it, the climate is fairly similar to England. Um, but uh, no, it's, uh, it's just one of those places I've always enjoyed coming and, uh, and se seem to bring out the best in me. But wasn't the, the, the conditions in 1996 terrible? Wasn't it raining a lot? Yeah, it was. Do you remember? It was, uh, it was, I vaguely remember. Uh, I think when you win a tournament, you always picture it being sunny and nice all week. But uh, I think, uh, yeah, it was pretty wet and blustery and windy. And uh, it was a tough week. And, uh, but now you are back. Have, what have you heard about this course? Well, I've heard it's tough. Um, I've heard it's in good condition. I'm looking forward to going and playing it this afternoon. I've heard a lot about the, the 17th being an island green. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Certainly when you drive in, it's very spectacular, you know, with the, the lake in the background there. What, what do you think will be the key for a good score? Well, obviously to play well. I mean, uh, you know, you have to play well to win any tournament on the European Tour now. And uh, uh, just have, if it's a tough course, all, all your game needs to be in good, in good order. And then now tomorrow you are playing with Peter Hansson and Alex Noreen. Um, probably there will be a lot of people following you. Is that good for you? Yeah, it creates a good atmosphere. Obviously, you know, the two lads are Swedish and will have a lot of home support. Alex winning last year and Peter's having a great year. So uh, it'll be a good group to play in. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a holiday here as well, I think. Yeah, it, it is. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get good crowds and there'll be a lot of people there. There normally is, so uh, you know, no reason not to think there won't be again. Uh, you have been uh, number one in the world, but you d I'm sorry to say you still don't have any major. Mm -hmm. If you can choose between being number one for a long time or win a major British Open. What well, I've, I've been world number one now, so I mean, you know, my sights are on trying to win a major championship. Um, you know, I keep coming close, so... I keep putting myself in that position. Hopefully, it'll change. Questions, please. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, I think you know most players look forward to all the major championships. But uh, uh, I played well at Olympic last time it was there in 1998, and um, you know the U.S. Open was one of my favourite tournaments of the year. So uh, yeah, obviously, I'm looking forward to it. Not really, no. I mean, you know, it'll be a tough test. It's one of the hardest tests. Um, so, you know, you have to be playing well and you have to have control of the golf ball. And distance control is important, but obviously accuracy at any US Open course is, uh, is vital. Yeah, I seem to play well on US Open golf courses. I finished third last year and had a good chance at uh, Torrey Pines a few years back. So... Uh, yeah, I've had some good results. Most of them have been in California as well, which is good news because obviously it's in San Francisco next week and uh, hopefully I can have another good result. No, my thoughts are on this week. You know, I like to be uh, competitive the week before major championship. So, uh, you know, obviously coming here, I'd like to be competitive and play well and get into contention. Um, and that, you know, would be good preparation for next week. You know, having getting the nerves going and uh, and being in in with a chance to win. Um, I played Memphis the last couple of years. Obviously, I won there two years ago, and then played pretty well. But it gets 
very hot in Memphis and um, you know I haven't been back here for 10 years 11 years it might even be longer so uh, you know it's time to come back and visit Sweden again and uh, with the US Open being in California wherever you play the week before you're going to have a long trip there and you know it can be quite cool in San Francisco the climate I guess is more would be more likened to here than to Memphis so uh, it made a lot of sense to come here. I don't know it may be uh, you know I've given myself a lot of chances but not quite finished it off so uh, you know it's not like my game's far away uh, from being good enough to win a major championship sometimes I've played well and somebody else has played slightly better uh, all the times I haven't quite played well enough in the last round so you know it could be a combination of a lot of things. Uh, I don't know. I keep calling him, um, but uh, he's just doing the rehab at the moment. Um, it's quite a bad injury, and it's normally six to eight months. So uh, I don't know when that when that makes it. Probably around the Ryder Cup time, I guess. Well, you get you have to get used to another caddy, and the, the other caddy have to, has to get used to you and your game. Uh, that's the main difference, really. You know, learning how each other works. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. But, uh, you know, I have a good idea of what I'm working on on, on the green. So, uh, you know, it's uh, it's always nice to have another set of eyes. But the caddy I've got, Sponge, is uh, uh, very experienced. And, you know, I respect his opinion as well. So, um, you know, he can help me out if he sees anything. Hopefully. I don't think there's any doubt that I look old enough now. Maybe 1996 was slightly different, but there's a few more grey hairs and a few more lines now, so uh, I don't think I'm going to get barred from any pubs this week. So, so the rumour that you were thrown out is not true? The you didn't, that, you no, did, never came in? No, Stuart, who stood at the back, was with me. Um, we, he still looks young enough to get barred, but um, no, we, 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 were just, we walked up the steps and the guy on the door said no. We obviously didn't look old enough, but we were... I was 23, um, but uh, I think they let us in the night after because that was the Sunday night when uh, when you when I'd won. When you won, yeah. Yeah, I think he recognised me, but we didn't go. We went to the one next door. That's Just good. out of badness. That's yeah. very good. Okay. Thank you very much and good luck. Thank you.